Hi everybody, I'm Tina. This is To The Inner World. Welcome back. It is 6.46 in the morning. I have been up for hours. And that's okay. Um, um, this is like a good wake up. Like, usually it's, you know, I don't know. This, I felt, my thoughts felt better this morning. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, I decided, like, I was looking across <laughs> the lay of the land on my bed, and I'm like, oh my gosh, if anybody astral travels here or does, like, the remote viewing, I have already normalized this. <laughs> and, um, anyway, I'm telepathically telling them <laughs> that, uh, if you have some suggestions, <laughs> no, um, they need to keep their opinions to themselves. Alrighty, overstepping. So anyway, um, I looked across the lay of the land and I saw, guess what? The fountain tarot and it was gleaming back at me. So I'm like, hey, let's do a reading. Um, okay, what? chunk came out all oh, ten of coins and three of coins right there baby in reverse so it's it's like it's um in the spiritual banks right now <laughs> i don't know what do you call it hmm. yeah spiritual reserves this is great this is excellent news because this means that we have a hand in it. Or I do. <laughs> um, no, we do. Okay. It takes more than one set of hands. Three of coins always. Okay. But it, it also means that to get there, um, like, you know, backtracking on previous readings or recent readings is that um, it, it takes um, some fine tuning um, as well as um, employing that um, within, um, within the method of, um, deconstructing, you know, so a lot of discernment and, um, sometimes gentle hands in the process, like you're playing Jenga a hundred percent. That's what they're saying, because you see how it's like kind of pulled out just a little bit. Yeah. Jenga time. <laughs> I like it. You know what? Let's go ahead and use those as our header cards. Or enter that's actually the top of the deck. Goodness. So, um, um, that there's no secret to that. That we all play a part in it. Okay. Ten of coins is a straightforward, prosperous outcome. It's like what you aspire to have, like your ROI. Just like, could you ask for anything more? No. Okay, what's that? Oh, it's the world card. <laughs> this is excellent. I'm telling you, it's like good vibes. I don't know what the universe. Thank you so very much for getting us here, believing in us, and assigning us our roles for reals. This is excellent. She's on an axis. She has access to the axes. <laughs> both axes there's there's more than two axes i think that's how you pluralize its pronunciation <laughs> um, oh yes angels of light and love i invite you in <laughs> to direct and protect these messages of course so she's unfazed like she knew it was coming um just waiting you know just chilling out like um her ancestors and spirit guides and angels and spirit themselves told me And just like, just sit there, just sit there comfortably, just chill out, okay? <laughs> you know what song just came to mind? I'm on top of the world. What is it? The Carpenters? Karen Carpenter? Mm hmm. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Ouch! What the heck is your problem? Leave me alone. Goodness gracious. 
Oh, I brought back my Tiffany stone. For all of you guys that um, don't know about it, go to my Crystal Commune Diamond on my on my YouTube channel. <laughs> and uh, uh, there's a bit about it somewhere there. Okay. <laughs> or just look it up. Okay. And then purchase the stone, but from a good source, this trustworthy source. And um, feel it out mm -hmm, before... Like, interpret it for yourself. I encourage you to do that with crystals before, um, you know, taking on someone else's word for it, okay? I feel like that's important for your growth. Five of Wands, what's the deal, man? Um, okay, Five of Wands straight up is... Let me tell you, conflict. It's, uh, I can't say it's like 100% betrayal, but it's like PFN, like p potential future nonsense almost when it comes to like ground level, um, people like working, you know, beneath themselves. Um, it's just like very isolated. You know, it's like the Five of Swords, except you downplay it or like, hey kids, you know, I think it let's let's not play with swords today here here's some sticks okay so that's um that's what's kind of like happening because there's still like egoic play in it um but then we also see relative to you know what's going on over here on a more intimate level on a higher level view we're looking at our ancestry um upon initiation it's rush week and we're going to enter into this portal and they're saying like okay you're you know we all deal with this type of conflict and then that type of conflict it's a series of portals you see it's like you know military how you, you cross you know they cross their um arm armory or you know, they're, <laughs> they cross their stuffs and, um, it's like a portal, a series, like one after the other, after the other. So it's like, it, it's the initiation of, um, what you have to go through. And it's like the, the common turbulence of the world that, um, you know, ancestors know about our elders, um, in order to get from one place to another. So they're helping us see it through, you see? like on the sides. So I'm seeing more of that than anything. Um, just because of these like very, very positive cards. And that's really where our sh focus should be. Not like um, to like m more primitive, like primal um, uh, behaviors. Okay. So we're more driven beyond like the mechanics of like here to there, you know, um, we're, we're, um, more, um, mindful of what's between all of that and not, um, in a way that it's just a filler, you know, um, that it's not just a formula, that it's an experience on its own. You see a series of them. So, like, when you know, oh, God, the chills, that's so nice, thank you. Um, um, so, when we're, when we're engaged in a movie, when it's so very good that it comes into, like, it, it has a series, um, and you latch onto it because you're, um, it's inclusive of um, the audience, not just the person themselves, but it's such an intimate view of, like, the, to the totality of, what's going on within that character and um yeah so um there's that <laughs> that's that's so this is excellent you know to to see that we have backing amongst our trials and tribulations um there's that and you know i have my um special crystal out a couple like a few of them like i never really have this particular crystal out but um it, I've infused it with so much energy, like so much, um, it's, I think that's why the, um, the combination that I have right now, right here and now is, um, um, very protective and, um, directive, just, you know, like what I asked the angels for, but this is very much like, 
um, I don't know, I, I'm not used to, like, reading so, like, on a level where it feels like I'm one of the chiefs, you know, just, um, on that plane, um, of, like, absolute discernment. It's just crystal clear, um, it doesn't feel rushed, it's just, it's plain and simple to see um, how everything connects. And that's excellent. We're, we're making a move. <laughs> we're getting a move on. Yes, yeah, so that's what they're saying. Don't just stand there, bust a move. <laughs> if you want it, you got it. <laughs> Page of Cups in reverse on on the bottom of the deck. So, um, it's about, like, um, how do I say it? Kind of thawing out, um, this, um, because there's, like, a world on the inside, but it's encased by a cube. And it looks, like, normally, like, a display case. But um, it's also, like, kind of iced in there. And she's using her energy to, like, warm that cup in order to thaw everything out. It's, like, um, a reverse version of um, a stove that's lit. And it's just warming up before you, like, start anything. So um, it's that process of um, thawing out. So that um, your resources are um, more accessible. Mm -hmm. That they're not just like visible, but you can actually employ them. Like make them more, pull them into a tangible state. Um, yeah. So this is um, assistance with manifestation by um, continuing to like self-love. To like you just refuel your cup. And... Um, know when to like it, it's having like um not just seeing the value of the of your boundaries but um sticking to them and just feeling right with it finally you know that's what i'm feeling like i already like said it and like had the mindset i i repeated it in my head and it just felt good every single time that um this is what i I'm, I'm going to do today and um uh however it is seen um because there are multiple like messages that can be carried through it i know that the primary one is that um i just need to get things in order and get things straight as far as where i stand and where i want to go um so it's not um the things that I'm going to do today aren't an act of passive aggression. It's more like, no, I'm being real and straightforward with, um, you know, what, um, to, to like motivate myself to the next step that I'm not just lingering around on that, like on the, on my heels, um, that I'm kind of on my toes, like just leaning forward, just kind of interested in what comes next and, you know, where, I feel I need to be and how to get myself there. Um, yeah. So I, I just feel like that's important right now to um, lean into the next step. Um, yeah. Rather than just hang back, you know, because when you hang back, you have a tendency to um, lay low, you know, just kind of like, be in acceptance and in within complacency so you're just like kind of shh you know and um you know i played it safe before and it caused a lot of um i i ended up internalizing the chaos or bottling it up you know and it's just that formula does not work i've plugged it in many times before so here we go. I feel like we need a knock, huh? Okay. And here we go. So 
so this is all very good um maybe it's just a clear like just a very concise message of just you know this and um you know really it's just making sense out of things um without like having a second doubt to it it just it feels today feels clear i don't I'm, I don't know, I don't want to question it, like, not out of fear, but, like, it just feels right, so why, you know, at a certain point, you're going to have to be able to fully trust yourself, and if it feels right, and if it clicks, then just, just roll with it, you know, so, like, I've been waiting, what was that song, um, yeah, <laughs> that's a love song um but I've been waiting for you know that click and when it finally comes and you question and you feel the need to question it like that's <laughs> you're doing yourself some harm there lady <laughs> so uh yeah all right what else have we got here spirit We're just going to get the one that four of coins and nine of swords here. So it's pronounced, okay? I didn't intend on getting both. Oh, but look what's underneath the four of swords. Hell, or four of coins. Hello, so ownership. And there's like, there's a lot of hope behind that. Like just, um, Yeah, so nine of um, swords. Um, it's like things that keep you up. And so for me this morning, they were like all positive vibes. And it's like about ownership and, and it's not freaking out over it. It's like nobody gave you the title, but it doesn't mean that you don't have to, you know, um, it doesn't mean you're, um, that you have to act as, you know, um, within a certain confines like if you're royalty you know claim that throne and just like be it and um you know it's um it's a very like invigorating thing to be able to take charge and like pitch your own tent um and like you know be your own um um how do you say it because it, it falls along the along the lines of throwing a pitch like um like motivate yourself and get your own buy in you know it's um it's being that independent like okay nobody wants to play time with me i'll play time with myself i'm so good at that <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> all right anything else spirit like I can enjoy the horizon. I can change. I can enjoy the changing landscape and my response to it. And like, you know, I, I can enjoy at least that much. That's a fucking blessing, you know. Yeah. It's like you know the five of pentacles where you you're left out in the cold. It's like for going like. Like, you know what? You're just paying off that part of you, like your ego. Like, here's a pentacle. Now I'm down to four pentacles. You know, like, I'm just going to pay you off, shut you up for just a second. Okay, you can take that and just, like, you know, go on over there. And that's your ace of pentacles. Like, so you're kind of, like, splitting, like, these versions of yourself that, like, aren't always speaking to your highest good. So you're like, hey, you have a little time out with that Ace of Pentacles. You're going to ideate what you want to do with that. Okay. Um, ego. Okay. And then here, here we are with the rest, you know, our whole, our, um, a greater sense of self with our four of um, Pentacles. And we're going to pitch a tent and we're going to enjoy it. 
We're going to enjoy the change of seasons. It's so beautiful. Like people pay and reserve like a year or two in advance. They get memberships to do this kind of stuff like Yosemite or other national parks. So you know what? We're going like tribal. We're going indigenous. We're going, um, uh, I forget what we were going to say. Tribal, indigenous. Um, we're going like, rugged we're going underground with nature you know like nobody has to really know about it this is our stuff and it feels so good and feels so alive to make decisions like that that are so um you know you know is right and you you're not having to report that to anyone um it, it's it's a matter of like being sacred not just like private it's like um, so hardcore, um, um, you, you know, so, um, this is absolutely being driven by it, like, just super invigorated and motivated, like, it might be a little scary, but, like, spirits, like, saying, um, remember, you know, that's what keeps you, um, just kind of ahead of the game, like, breathing your own air it's a different atmosphere when you're like when you've got the lead and um and you're not really paying attention to everyone else it's just a different it's just a different realm that we get to experience uh, like on a very um it, it's this is this is soul development here mm-hmm super abundant because um soul development is a like a very comprehensive type of investment um where not every investor knows that they've invested <laughs> they're not really 100 percent aware um and this is this doesn't imply that one is a taker but more of a recipient um a blessed recipient and um it's just a matter of looking at the portfolio you know as it stands and saying like oh hey like you know doing an audit of it um not so much as like hey um a layout of merits but you know it's it's also inclusive of that but looking at okay um, oh, I remember, like, this is what happened within this slice. Like, this is my life experience um, in accordance to what I accomplished here and here. And, like, you know, where I tripped up a little bit, you know. And just, like, kind of just really looking at that. And that's, like, a huge um, sense of closure. Um, and that's why we, we need just, like, a little piece and just, like, chill time um, within the transition, you know. Um, to be able to, like come in with um like a calm perspective like fully um capable to engage in what we're um seeing on that layout um because that portfolio is really what we submit to spirit <laughs> and that's like that gets featured into the akashic records you know as the highlights um and then all the rest all the fillers um, reference points go to the appendix. You see, that's insane. I must have some leadership here. You know, like not just self, but like um, viewers. So that's so excellent. See, um, we have a special effect on each other, um, and these are not illusions. Um, thank God. Um, this is um, what I just last wrote in my um. Uh, what you know I've divined from you know um the angels and you know our guides that um I forget like <laughs> um oh that we're walking Venn diagrams Vesica Piscus um constantly collaborating co-creating and um alchemizing so I'm seeing that like a hundred percent here. There's a new audience here. I can tell, um, just by the way I am conducting myself. So this is an automatic upgrade for each of us. I mean, I just, I can tell you, look back on my records. You'll see, <laughs> I mean, still good stuff, but 
this is this is different. <laughs> this is good stuff. This is this is still this is good. <laughs> um you know yesterday um I shared the elevator or I I just I saw one of the chiefs on the way to like um you know the lobby area but you know I like I I I um with that level I give them their space like they're walking celebrities you know and um so I try to keep a little bit of a distance um so that they can um be more in their moment and cuz I would gauge that they um are in constant recalibration like just trying to be more in the moment um within context and so I I give them their space and so but we were in close proximity in getting to the elevators and there's like a special thing to the to the elevators but there's like two stations in order to get to where we need to be so I knew like I I went to I went to the other part thinking that okay maybe like two different elevators will show up just, you know, to give each other some space. Maybe he's just like running through. And, um, and so we ended up colliding within the, not, 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 not a collision, but, um, sharing, um, the same one. Um, they were very much a gentleman and, um, yeah. So anyway, it, it was, it was nice, but, um, it was so strange. Like, it, it's really nice because I didn't have to go through the stuffiness of like, hi, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Da, 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 da. You know, all that. The, the thing that we both recognize as filler bullshit, you know, just the niceties. And um, so it, I felt like that was very pleasant to be able to... Like, there was a certain, like, sliver within the conversation that was just like, I'd rather do without, you know? Um, but it was, it was, that was just kind of like towards the end, but it was, um, it was chill. I was like, I really appreciate that, that, um, uh, there's <clears throat> a natural flow, um, when it comes to, Mm, um, what do you call it? Um, it's like on the spot, um, just, um, um, the flow on the fly, like that, that translates to, um, like along the hierarchy, you know? And so I really appreciated that. Uh, I really, I really appreciated that. That like put things into perspective. I was like, "That's cool." <laughs> um, without like geeking out, you know, it was, it was good. Oh, also, I have to give credit to the crystals that I'm working with right now, because like, even if I just put one, like, each one is singularly different and special to what I normally don't have. And in conjunction with each other, there's a total of um, six here, along with the ones that I'm wearing, that are extra special when combined, especially how they're positioned. I don't know. It's all intuitively done. Um, But, yeah. This is good. This is good. So now, like, I have, like, a breakdown formula of accelerators um, and, like, support figures that... um, allow for, um, a better read as well. These are all very strong crystals. It's just great. It's, I don't even know. Like, uh, what? <laughs> I didn't premeditate it. It just kind of happened. <laughs> um, okay. Anything else? Anything else, my dearies? These two... Death in reverse and the full card in reverse. How excellent is that? Um, 
going through the transmutation process um the area of rebirth like it is like on like we're you turning and it's just like about it's about there you know it's like um a hook line and sinker so that's that's basically where we're at right now um we're about to um fully engage it's we're not like on the brink but we're just kind of like very close to that um so this is not just transformation it's um like uh what do you call it when you rebrand yourself oh my gosh that's what it is i was thinking revamp but i'm like revamp is just like such a temporary like you know kind of achievement um where you you know tweak a few this is a rebranding huh that's interesting um there's another word that i'm looking for though because renovations like is the interim you know like um but this is um you know like with madonna or like they're con they're constantly um changing what do you call it anyway the more formal name like more standard is um um rebranding and i feel it like i feel it here <laughs> um just the energy across the board especially with these two cards i mean this is such an intimate experience that um I think only leaders, like top leaders, really know. Um, that's that's good. And then and then the stuff that goes kind of unseen, um, our ancestry, our spirit guides, you know, our if you believe in past lives, also what we haul in from there that. Um, you know, is on very much of an inner knowing plane. And you don't, you're not able to access that, access that unless you're um, very grounded. Yeah. It's like you have to really get to know who you are in this lifetime and able to access the previous, you know. Um, yeah. It's part of it. Okay. Anything else? I feel like that was it, and I was supposed to look at the bottom of the deck, but I started shuffling again. Okay, so that one was a flipper. Um, Knight of Coins in reverse. So, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I feel like it's it's not slow and steady so much. I feel like it's the handoff, like, the, for this particular one, I feel like the Knight of Coins, it's like they've reached their destination point, and it's like the handover before they cross back, because we talked about, like, this U-turn thing here, and then the Eight of Wands in reverse, yeah, so there's, like, not much more to do from here, like, there's no communications, there's almost like a silence, um, a pause, um, yeah, because Eight of Wands in reverse is like, um, uh, or in upright is communications. It's also like a long range view. So we're like our um, reach to the, like the macrocosm, the exterior world. So this is very much an intimate process here. In fact, um, I have not been posting any TikTok stuff. And yeah, I haven't been just because like I needed to get my head into gear with my personal like stuff and also professionally speaking I had to do that with my more practical job and um understand the energies there so although as much as I would have liked to be like oh like it's game a game is on I'm gonna get like this paperwork in like straight up tomorrow and I'm like when I actually looked really looked at it there you can't rush that stuff you know um there's a lot to it. There's a lot more to it than it's 
there's stuff between the lines. Um, so it, as long as you're engaging in the process of like moving from one phase to another, I felt like, okay, at least there's a win there. I, you know, I stopped, um, you know, putting stuff out there. Like I don't have anything to prove to anybody. Like there's a lot going on in this world. And, um, I really also need to just kind of buckle down a little bit. So if I can forego that, then I'm that much closer to where I need to be. Um, so it's kind of retraining your brain, your thought processes, your feelings towards those things. Um, you know, it's really just coaching yourself. And I do have help from the divine for sure. You know, I still ask questions like, if I just, you know, just, uh, can you, can I have a hug? <laughs> Stuff like that. So, um, there's that. Um, do we need to cut the deck spirit? Okay, let's, let's just do that, like, as a map, okay? Like, nine of cups, it's happiness. Oh, hello, how are you? <laughs> we got nine of cups. So, um, it's happiness, like, in the process, so you just being just feeling right with it like it, it's all good like it's all good that's what they're saying i like it it's all good we've already like the eagle has landed we've already delivered it is good we're just turning back we're on our way back <laughs> i love it banana grams time we might have a slight interruption because it is now seven twenty-three. it's time to get ready <laughs> Okay, what fell behind is the M E D F Q U R C I R M O G R E E P O H X. Straight off the bat, we have quid <laughs> med. Um CRM, what is that? Customer relationship modules. Um, what's GPO? I don't know. I don't remember. Rep. Um, fox. So we have the spirit totem of the fox again. Um, Um, okay, so let's get at this. Oh my goodness, okay. Mm. I have FOMO. Hmm. Oh my gosh, do I have... No, I thought I, I had Phoenix, but there's no N. Mm. Maybe it's supposed to be C H. Oh, hold on a sec. Okay. <clears throat> um. Cheer. Cheer is good. It's very, um, obviously it's a festive word, but it's, um, oriented around the holidays, which we're heading into. So, um, hmm. 
I feel like it's um, like a formal approach to better times. Yeah. Where like everybody can engage in that vibe. And I feel like looking at a higher level that, that that's something um, that's essential, that perspective. Groom. You know, groom had such a positive word before, as far as like you're someone's like grooming you for a position. Um, uh, like, how do I say it? Um, it's preparatory, but then like you know, people have really turn that into such like a foul sense of um just you know within deceit and so um I've always known it to be a word that is um positive like you're mentoring someone but very um like within the autonomous type of methods um Whereas grooming in its most negative sense is very manipulative, very hands-off and very constricting, um, very, um, with a lot of use of like implications. Um, and, but yeah, it's built on restrictions. So grooming in its positive sense, which I feel like is here, is um, prepping someone for commitment. Um, I think that's like a bonded term, you know, if you're looking at bride and groom. Um, but if you're looking at like um, a singular view of um, mentoring someone, it's moving in like an autonomous type of um, direction. So um, just kind of empowering them with um, the tools, but allowing them to process um And make the moves that without directing them per se. So that's what I got there. Okay. <laughs> um, Hmm. Just trying to connect the words. I'm just trying to be patient. Okay. Cheer. Groom. Grime. So grime is like dirt, right? It's 
it's the stuff that gets stuck. Things get like grimy. It's just like a little dirty, right? Um, <clears throat> what is that? I, there's something that was connecting to that. I'm getting like, it's grime is like going with grit. Like I'm trying to figure out how that is, but like when you have grit, like you have, um, such, um, like a strong force of will behind you. Like you're really going to stick it through and, um, just like grime, you know, gets stuck between your nails or stuck between crevices. Like it, it's, um, It's like um, the tenacity of what what surrounds you and what is encompassing. So there's always going to be dirt. There's always going to be like things are. Um, I'm getting like the sense of like imperfection, <laughs> but at the same time, like not letting it get to you. Like understanding that those things are movers. Um, you know that. How do I say it? I guess those are, there's movers and there's shakers. So I, I suppose those would be the shakers, the accelerators, the, the resources that most don't comprehend them to be, um, but they're very much part of the whole. Um, and just following through, regardless of how that looks, you know? Gosh, why are they coaching me like this? No, it's it's good. It's practical. It's you know. I just like I didn't expect to be there be like a private message here. Um, there's um sirens going off. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's, I see proof and prime. I really feel like, let's look at that. Okay, let's do some, a change up here. Because like, um, having proof, like you don't always have to, um, like a, a lot of the proof is, um, is self-explanatory it's just very revealing truth is always going to be revealing here um and prime just like being at your best i feel like that i feel like this is more correct than the previous so let's let's go with that um Why do I have rude here? Hmm. Hmm. I, I have crud as well. <laughs> gem let's do gem okay
This one's a little tough. Hmm? Mm. Mud. Mud can be cleansing. I think, like, the previous, like, either way you go, it'll still be correct. Um, just because we have mud reappearing here. Um, yeah, kind of like, but here it's more like wallowing in it. Like, it's so obvious. Um... Uh, yeah, so with mud, we get the implication, like, with it being, like, so messy, like, to be able to, like, enjoy, um, certain things, like, you think of, like, a pig pen, like, how they very much enjoy wallowing in it, and then there's, um, children, you know, making mud pies, um, so... Engaging with the inner child, I feel like that goes with the four of pentacles as, as well. Just like, um, some inner child play there. Um, and then I guess DR for doctor, and then RX for remedy, and then we have Q left. So, where does that go? Um, QR, having your, like, independent, like, coding system of how, um, like, your unique identifier. It's not necessarily a barcode, I'd say. Like, it's not standardized. It's individual to your messaging, your unique messaging. So this is it. Give me a second. <laughs> so we've got that there. Um, and then just, like, like looking at the cards really um and then um, the other side to that um so this is all excellent oh my gosh you see that so it's like you've we've exited you know it's what is it we had it like that it's a hook line so anyway I think I've interpreted enough. <laughs> Have a great day. It's 739. Gotta get ready. <laughs> Happy Friday. See you all again later. Bye for now. <laughs>